In this video, I'm going to share three strategies introverts can use to make the most of events, followed by three suggestions to event organisers to make their venues friendlier. If, like me, you dread having to give anyone a sales pitch, trade shows, exhibitions and other networking events can be a really daunting project. The good news is you don't have to be a prime example of a social butterfly to promote yourself or your business at events. In fact, why should you want to be a social butterfly when you have different strengths you can use? If the rules don't work for you, change them. Here are three things that have worked for me and may work for you. Number one, Twitter. Social media is a godsend for introverts everywhere. And Twitter is particularly great for events as it allows people you're not already connected with to discover you. If you're more of a typer than a talker, then try to find the show's hashtag and use it to talk about your business. Tactics that work include asking other people questions using the hashtag. You could even use Twitter polls, for instance. Taking pictures of your stand and all colleagues and sharing them. The more lighthearted, the better. Letting people know about any promotions you are running on the day so they know to check out your stand. Attending talks and tweeting about them. So you could share great quotes from speakers and retweet other people too. Number two, live streaming. Sometimes being behind the camera can be a helpful way to approach people. Most social networks, including Twitter and Facebook, now have live streaming options. You can use it so that people who can't attend the event have access to what you're experiencing. So here are two ideas. Live stream a talk you attend, extra bonus if it's one of your colleagues, or interview people attending the conference, a bit like a live version of Twitter polls. Maybe do this accompanied by someone outgoing if you're, if you're feeling too shy to do so. Number three, live blogging. I use Passel to live blog because it's just really easy, but then of course I would say that because I work for Passel. What I do is attend talks with my laptop and I take notes with the aim of posting something up before it's over. As there are time constraints, I find that either summarising the main points, as I did here, or focusing on one particular point, as I did here, are the most effective tactics. When I'm happy with the post, I search for the conference hashtag in Passel's Twitter picker and I add the tweets of people attending the same talk as me. Then, once it's live, I thank those people for those tweets. So, in one short post, I've connected meaningfully with several people attending the same talk. That's a bit of a win. Next, what can organisers do to be more introvert friendly? Number one, create downtime spaces. Being switched on around people is very draining on introverts, so having a space where they can recharge their mental batteries is really useful. If your venue doesn't have spare rooms, then having a, a plug-in zone is a great alternative, giving people the excuse to recharge their technological batteries as well as their mental ones. Number two, structure is really useful. Having set discussions where you know what it is you are meant to be talking about is helpful for introverts and extroverts, frankly. Small talk of any kind is the introvert's worst enemy, so tackling a specific problem or discussing a set topic is much better. Number three, give people the option to opt out of activities, whether that's meals that are basically an informal or formal extension of networking, or things like compulsory presentations that they haven't had time to prepare for. So those are my tips. Do you have any other ideas or tips? Feel free to share them in the comments below.